All right, this is a quick video on what a healthy immune system does and what potentially happens when it decides to go rogue and contribute to an autoimmune process. In its simplest form, the immune system distinguishes between self and non-self. And what's cool is that all of our nucleated cells have a set of proteins that they're displayed on the outer cellular membrane that are known as a MHC, major histo histocompatibility class one molecule that basically notifies to the rest of the immune system that, hey, I'm on the home team. I'm part of you guys. And we have another set of cells that are the antigen presenting cells, part of our immune system that has an MHC to categorization in which they sample molecules from the outside world, present these to the rest of the immune system saying this is either friend or this is foe. So it makes sense that the more molecules that we present to our immune system where we're saying, hey, this is a friend, this is a healthy vitamin, this is a healthy food, this is not a pesticide, herbicide, toxin, dangerous microbe, the more that our immune system can stay in a state of tolerance and the lower risk that we have of developing an autoimmune process. But if you guys want to know everything about autoimmunity, I've done a long form video, which is listed in the description below. I did, and I'd invite you to meet me there where we discuss what precipitates autoimmunity and most importantly, some functional practical steps that you can take to turn it around. All right, guys, I'll see you there and take care.